Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from Helpdeck and in today's guide video, I am going to show you how you can verify your identity on your Binance cryptocurrency account. Before we start with the video, if you are new to our channel, then do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And without any further ado, let us get started. So the first thing you want to do is simply make sure that you have downloaded and installed the Binance cryptocurrency application on your device. If you have not yet downloaded the application, then simply open your respective app stores, search for Binance and click on the first application which comes up and then download it. Once the download process is complete, come back to your home screen and then open the application as I do. You want to make sure that you are logged into the account of which you want to verify the identity of. In my case, I was already logged in so it didn't ask me for any credentials. As you open the application, you can see this is how the home interface of the application looks like. Here, you can see the first option which comes up is called complete your account, enable trading with a few easy steps. So what we want to do is simply click on the yellow button which says verify account. So tap on verify account once you see it and it will open a web application on your Binance application. Over here you can see multiple options such as personal verification. Now here what we want to do is try to verify our identity. So at the bottom of the screen you will be able to see an option called start now in the yellow button. So what we want to do is simply tap on start now. As you can see, it is asking for multiple information such as our nationality. So click on the nationality box and then select your nationality. Once you select your nationality, come back to the first name and enter your name as per the document which you are going to upload. So make sure that you have your legal name entered. Once you enter your first name, also enter your legal last name. If you have a middle name, then you can simply type on it or else you could leave it as it is. Once you do that, come back and enter your date of birth. Once you enter your date of birth and have filled your first name and your last name as per your legal document, at the bottom of the screen you will be able to see an option called continue in the yellow button. So go ahead and tap on continue once more. Once we click on continue, you can see it is asking us to enter our residential address. So simply enter your residential address over here. Once you do that, at the bottom you will also have to select the postal code. If you don't know what postal code is, go to Google and enter your city and then type in your postal code and Google will automatically give you your postal code depending upon the location you have typed in. Once you do that, on the right hand side you also want to select the city. So as we have filled all of the additional information such as our residential address, our postal code as well as our city, we want to go ahead and tap and continue at the bottom again. So now, the next information they are going to ask us is our identity verification. Select a document issuing country or region. So what we want to do is to simply submit our any valid government issued document. This includes such as your ID card, your passport or your driver's license. For me, the easiest option is ID card, so I'm going to choose on ID card. You can include your driver's license or your passport if you don't want to share your ID card. Once you select a desired ID card, go ahead and tap and continue again. So as you can see, it will ask us that you are about to upload the ID card. Please ensure that this is your own government issued document that is not expired. So you want to make sure that the ID card still has a validity date. And this is an original document, not a scanner copy. You should not upload a copy but an original document which has been issued by your country's government. So once you are sure of all of this and have read the terms and conditions, at the bottom right hand side you want to go and tap and continue once more. Once you tap and continue, you can see it is asking us to upload the front side of our ID card as well as the back side of our ID card. So what we want to do is click on the yellow add button right over here. Once you click on add, you will have to take a photo of your ID card. So make sure that the ID card is placed in front of you and simply tap on create take photo right now. You want to place your ID card in front of you right over here and then click the photo.
So as you can see that our front side image has been successfully uploaded. Go ahead and click on OK right over here. And once you do that, you will have to enter the back side of your ID card. So click on take photo again once you have to show about that and then take the photo of the back side of your ID card right over here. Click on OK and wait for the verification. Once you have uploaded both your front side as well as your back side, you want to review if everything in the picture is actually clear. Once you are sure that everything is readable, clear and not blurry, as well as well lit and not reflective and not too dark, as well as no black and white images, you want to go ahead and click on OK. You also want to make sure that the document is not edited and the document is placed against a solid colored background. So go ahead and tap on OK once you are sure of all of that. So as you can see our document has been successfully uploaded and you want to go ahead and click on continue to upload a selfie of yourself. This is done for identity verification and in order to match whether the person in the document as well as the person who is using the application is the real owner himself or not. So go ahead and tap on take a selfie. Once you do that, click on OK and then click on continue again. So as you can see, it is asking for a facial verification such as to avoid wearing hats, avoid wearing glasses, avoid using filters and you know, use enough lighting. So once you do that, tap at the bottom of the screen on the button which says begin verification. Please turn your head slowly to the left and right. So once you have completed the verification, at the bottom click on close. So now we have successfully uploaded our document. Now we want to wait from the Binance application in order to take a time and verify our account. It will take a maximum of 10 days in order to verify our account, so simply be patient and wait. So in this way you can really easily verify your identity on the Binance cryptocurrency account. We hope that this guide video was really helpful to you. And if it did help you, then do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you in our next video.